Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore an extraordinary milestone in Indian history, the journey of the first Indian man to travel to space. Let's embark on this fascinating adventure together. Let's dive into the video. Rakesh Sharma, the first Indian man who went to the space. He was born on January 13, 1949 in Patiala, Punjab. Rakesh Sharma had dreams of flying jets since his childhood. Rakesh Sharma all before the age of 23. When the Sharma time finally came to travel to space, he was 35. Rakesh Sharma told few words before going to space. I had pretty much done it all before I went into space. So when the opportunity came, I went along. With this travel, he became the 128th human to travel to space. After graduating from the National Defense Academy, he joined the Indian Air Force in 1970 at age of 21. He began his career flying supersonic jet fighters. In 1971, during the Bangladesh Liberation War, he flew 21 missions in a MiG-21 fighter jet. In 1984, when Rakesh was launched into space, India did not have a space program, let alone cosmonaut training facilities. For Rakesh, training to go to space was a challenge. As part of this training, he was to stay in a locked room with artificial lights for 72 hours at an aerospace facility in Bengaluru to check how he reacted to claustrophobia, on completion of which he then went to Star City, a high-security cosmonaut training facility about 50 miles outside Moscow for the final phase of his training. Rakesh had to adapt not just to the freezing temperatures, but also had to pick up Russian so he could communicate with this team. He was also put on a special 3 2 0, zero calorie diet and tested by Olympic trainers for strength, speed, and endurance. With Rakesh Sharma's voyage, India became the 14th nation to send a person to outer space. On April 3, 1984, when Rakesh Sharma flew the Soviet rocket Soyuz T-11, he made history. He became the first Indian citizen to reach space. On this journey to the space station Salyut 7, two Soviet cosmonauts, Commander Yuri Malashev and flight engineer Gennady Strekalov accompanied him. The Salyut crew had held a joint television, news conference with the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and officials in Moscow. When Gandhi asked Rakesh how India looked from outer space, he said the iconic words, Sare Jahan Se Acha, the best in the world. Rakesh and the crew spent seven days, 21 hours and 40 minutes aboard Salyut 7. The crew conducted several experiments and technical studies, including 43 experimental sessions. Rakesh's work majorly involved biomedicine and remote sensing. One of the experiments he performed was testing the effect of yoga on the body in microgravity. He also photographed India from space, saving India two years of aerial photography to map the same area. While in space, one of the most remarkable things Rakesh saw from space was India's coastline. He said in an interview decades later that the country's coastline was visible for about four minutes over 24 hours. Upon returning from his extraordinary journey, he was honored as the hero of the Soviet Union, while India bestowed upon him the esteemed Ashok Chakra. A wing commander in the Indian Air Force, Rakesh Sharma furthered his legacy as HAL's chief test pilot until his well-deserved retirement in 2001. Today, Rakesh Sharma lives a quiet life in Kunor, Tamil Nadu, away from the bustling city life. His achievements have left an indelible mark on India's space history and continue to inspire generations. Rakesh Sharma's story is a testament to courage, determination, and the pursuit of dreams forever celebrating the spirit of exploration and the heroic endeavors of one man who journeyed to the stars and returned as an inspiration. For generations to come, it took me a three months to make this video, so please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting video and updates. And always remember Jai Hin.